glimpse of what it's like to imagine, choose, create, and enjoy. They're getting a taste of being fashion designers. Molly Tutman takes us to a nine-week class where these students get to shine in places they may not always have had an opportunity to do so. So this is Jacob, and Jacob communicates using your phone, right? And so you just type something that I think is beautiful, and it says, my dream is that I be a great artist. Yes, they may be getting a later start in life when it comes to making, you know, your mark as a fashion designer. Like this, or you want them to Yep. Make it easy, make some easy. But anytime you can be creative, you're right on time. Okay, ready? Let's flip him over. The place, College for Creative Studies in Detroit, where creativity is in the very DNA of the bricks and mortar. And here, Jackie is learning... Yeah, it's working now. ...fashion design. Making a cake, and it's got African stuff on it. She's very deliberate about how she wants things to look. And press it down. I like animals, so I put animals on mine. There we go. And very proud about what she's creating. Woo! How sweet it is. I'm learning new stuff because I've never done this before. I've never been in fashion, so I'm not really a fashion person, but <laughs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> These are students from Gesher Human Services, the new nonprofit born from uniting JVS and Kadima Mental Health Services with missions to enrich and support people with disabilities. This class is three weeks into a nine-week program, and they're learning how to make wearable art. So that means hats, ponchos, tunics, bags, things like that. And this is what we're going to do. They're under the patient tutelage of master staff artist Joy Ofei. Perfect. And students are gently guided into creating their own works of art, not what someone else wants them to do. That's a nice one. I like that one. Too. But really bringing out what it is that they want to do. I just like a lot of stuff, and I'm doing a great job. You are. You are. You are, because it does look amazing. I love everything that you did here. Do you like it? Are you pleased with how it came out? Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Good job, Jacob. We help them to improve their communities. And then we give them hobbies and you know, a lifetime skill that they might need later on in life. Jamal shows off his tunic. I like the, the style of it, painting, uh, drawing flowers and stuff. And at the end of nine weeks, they'll show off all of their creations in a fashion show. It gives them an opportunity to do something, to decide some of the things about whatever that thing is, um, which they don't get a lot in their life. Often with people with disabilities, they're stigmatized. Um, so we remove that stigma. We give them the opportunity to make the clothing and then to feel good about it afterward and show their friends and family in the fashion show. Okay, so, Karen, what I did was I found this really cool wall art, building art, near the College of Creative uh, Studies. And I, not only because it's a hot day, I just wanted to have fun to see if I could blend in with this thing. But I really thought it was kind of an interesting metaphor with what's going on with those students. Because where they would generally blend in or perhaps even go unnoticed, this program really gives them an opportunity to pop out. Karen, and do I blend in? Do you see me anymore? Can you see me? Oh, I really like that. Such a creative live shot, and what great art behind you, too, Paula. Great story. Happy and Friday. And cue the cards. All right. <laughs> happy Friday. Yes, happy Friday. <laughs> Thank you. Well, somebody seated at last night's January 6th hearing caused quite a stir on Twitter without saying a word.